It's August uh, 20th, 2021. Um, I made a note the other day. I had uh, caught, um, I believe this gentleman's name, I can actually remember it right now. It's John Kirby. Um, if you look now, you can see he ha looks a little aged enhanced or older, or he's been weathered as I have in the uh, atmosphere for my purpose of time and space crime. I arrive, I'm a centurion, I arrived century 19, year 78, and the date for which I am watching this piece with him and the same, oh, not honorable, they have, it's Hank Taylor, it's Major problems, no, major public, no, major problems, general public, right, major general Hank Taylor's on with him at the same time, which I'm going to update his photo as well, um, and this is the reference. The other day, uh, a couple of days, I think it was two days ago, maybe it was even yesterday, it just said today. Today it says Pentagon, and it has this time signature stamp. But that would be what he appears on my particular media unit in Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. And today for me, at this signature, is August 20th. 2021, so 2021. And that's in a typical Alpha Beta uh, English system. In some credentialed as Afghans being assaulted and beaten and harassed, no question. It has mention but of by NYC, large, by the way. Those Afghans who have the proper I know some of these things are important. to the Taliban what those credentials look like, what they are. Uh, by and large, they're getting through the, the checkpoint. Um, and we, we, ha we have not seen that become a major issue. My other question is, now that the president has opened the door to possibly having some rescue missions into the city, are commanders on the ground now speaking with the Taliban about, uh, you know, letting those, those missions go off um, unobstructed? Well, first, uh, I just want to say, those discussions with commanders uh, in the Taliban haven't stopped, right? That's a continuous... Uh, yes, some age weathering so, outside as well. I get that as well with the light skin. They call them dimers, D-I-M-E-R-S. They're sunspots. Been brought to the commanders as of as of yet. But the president has opened up that possibility, so it would stand to reason that commanders would start. I think we all heard that. I think it's too it's much exposure to the wrong UV rays and the gamma field radiation. That's what happens to our light skin. So as of now, they're not asking for that specifically, or planning for that. That's great. As of this point, you just said two things. You said yeah. planning and asking. Uh, as as I always said. In some area, I know there was talk of if you have a remote and you're remotely starting and stopping a theoretical, uh, is it theoretically possible that by pointing at someone's face in order to measure the unity in the symmetry of the origami, is it possible that that would leave a mark? And the answer uh, would be yes. But that's off topic for the public. Prudent military planning is always continuously happening. Uh, and we are always forecasting for those type of things and planning for that. Request no, I can report that that hasn't yet. Uh, we have not received those. Have, you have to remember yeah, for this piece of importance, I am in a perfect origami say looks like this shape that the needle point has come undone and it's almost like I'm in a crumpled up piece of paper you take perfect sheet of paper and you just crumple it and then it makes this horrible pointed whatever right and then you have to try to flatten it out but it doesn't look right. And then you have to put something heavy on it, right? Yeah, okay, you get the point. It's not the way it should be. 
that's what I'm in at the moment, which is why my legs are not working, certain things aren't working, but I'm not the only one. I see that they're affected as well as of right now. So, um, with that being said, I also mentioned last night, if there's, say, a grid in the outside dimension, and I have my origami points around me that should look like a pentagon, but have been crumpled up and now look like this, and I'm feeling the effects, there is a laser light show that goes on between the outside dimension and my pressure um, detached unit that is sending signal back and forth. Um, I don't know if it's in all, don't ask me time frame, but it's sending marker back and forth. And sometimes if there's other broken units around me, which I can't always see because I'm not always wearing a third eye uh, infrared capability, um, it actually, the marks will go through my joints from another unit or from another area of the dimension from, say, that wall. I'm standing close to this wall. I assume the closest proximity is where they're measuring, but it could come from that wall. And sometimes it goes through my knee and then it'll go up my hip. I mean, it's, it's not functioning in any way, shape, or form the way that it should. And it's sending pain route signals in like laser light show in a way that is really, really, I mean, I don't take extra substance in order to know these things. In fact, I'm completely, I, I'm not on any prescriptions whatsoever. I'm just drinking coffee and tea and with a little bit of honey and that's it um, and lots of milk um, but for that point um, it is just um, very painful within the joints of my un my skin unit my endoskeleton to my muscular ligature and up and down my neuro um, my neural my neural highway as it sends signal to the outside unit of the perfect, what's supposed to be perfect origami, but right now is more like a crumpled unit of points, of needle points that are not sparking properly energy-wise, and then sending outside schematics the wrong signal as well, and then I get caught in a crossfire, and it's really, really painful. And I have no access to know, they don't have a listed phone number on my particular internet. My Google doesn't list their phone number, and even if it did, I wouldn't know who to call there. I don't know how their system, I'm, I'm what's called out of area. I'm out of the Pentagon area. I do not know how they are structured whatsoever, nor their, their respectful titles. So I try to use words, because I've never been taught, that makes sense in some other parallel reality that I've seen in my time here just waiting in 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 holding area there is continuous at that level then at the tactical level as we speak you know at the two star level for those type of talks happen and these are the discussions I don't know what a two star means by the way so I apologize increase of information to the checkpoints of who needs to come through what passes look like you know, what are the right credentialing to get through, who needs to come, uh, and then, you know, that at the lowest tactical level, those other discussions, of course, those are always, well, I would say probably a little harder, you know, just the community, but those are happening. I mean, uh, you know, making sure that uh, what needs to be communicated is done. Well, I got younger too, uh, General Milley the other day talked about the after action process will continue, and, you know, it's not, now is not the time to talk about it, but any emerging theories on why the Afghan army collapsed? I mean, you've been studying this for years, and is there any emerging theory? Ne uh, negotiated settlements, the Post talked about that earlier in the week. Negotiated settlements that started last year at the village level and then went to the district or province level. Any emerging theories? Uh, as, the, as the chairman said, after action reviews will, will happen at the appropriate time. and. Uh, um, I did note, Linda told me on the, new, on the news media, did come back that the NYPOST, New York Post, the newspaper, we don't get that here, but I, I think they sell it in some of the stores, um, but it said on the TV that, um, that New York or New York City, something along those lines, I'll have to try to find it, is Kabul. 
something, K-A-B-U-L, I don't know. I think that that's what it said. Um, I guess to uh, link up whatever's going on with my media, their media, and then the local Bayside station, Bayside New York um, locals. Um, yeah, so that's that. And, uh, you know, that guidance has been given. They and did have a campaign for a while, No Child Left Behind, is just but like, that went horribly because it made it about everybody else's kid right again in all the wrong ways. Uh, th these guys and these militias going to say, well, I'm not going to listen, I'm going to do my own thing, right. not letting people through. It, is, it, can you talk about that? Is it a problem? So um, I can't personally give you that level of detail you want, but what I do know, which I think is a, a positive, is there's constant communication and it's being received, right? And we're seeing uh, that things that we are asking for, passage and that, is is happening and getting better. Yeah, Gary. Yeah. Um, so, in, from time being up until now, have all U.S. flights from the Kabul airport gone to Qatar? And it's August 20th, 2021. Going, uh, uh, 